We have 75 meat chickens coming in 43 days. We have nowhere to put them. This is my cute little coop that we're still going to use, but it only holds 30 chickens. I just picked up a quarter inch plywood and then we need to cut it down to size. All this barn wood, guys, I have so much wood, uh, scrap wood, more wood in here that I'm, I'm going to try to use it. Hopefully I'll have enough. So I need to make at least two more that'll hold 30, 30, and 30. So that way I'll have some room for expansion because it seems like every year I'm making more coops, making more brooders. Will it ever stop? Jason, it's never gonna stop. <laughs> I need to get in this mindset of trying to use my just wood, my scraps, because it's starting to pile up. And I, I just get, okay, don't go buy new wood. Let's try to use what we have. I guess I just like the new wood because it's dimensional. You know, it's perfect, it's clean. You know, it's, uh, it, it's one size. I don't have to worry about nails in the wood. I like using one by one pieces of wood when you're building chicken coops or brooders. They sell wood already made like this or you can rip down a two by four or a two by six. I'm making this scrap wood one and a half inches wide. And because it's scrap wood, you just kind of have to figure it out depending on the size of your scrap wood. I'm using a quarter inch plywood. Now you probably could use half inch. Not all adhesives and glues are created equal. So you have to read the back of these and make sure it can hold vinyl to wood. And I learned that when I built my walk-in portable fridge. I am gonna use a deep bedding system for these baby chickens. The floor needed to be waterproof and I'm gonna use this vinyl to do that. Everything takes twice as long. So you just gotta be patient and just keep chipping away at it. I started this project a week ago. You're seeing this in an edited video, but you know, just the ideas. Going to the hardware store. Some of this wood I'm using is just kind of rotted out. You definitely see some like termite damage. So it's not, you know, some of it's really good. I'm just cutting out what's all termited up. It might fall apart. You gotta keep in mind, it's just for chickens. It's just for chickens.
But I also want it to last, and I do want it to look pretty. Since it's gonna be under shelter, I probably don't need to paint it, but I think it, I'm going to paint it. I mean, I feel like it, paint will just make it last a little bit longer. And this is just paint that we used for some of this to, um, to paint our house. I wanted to paint those two at least before we have dinner, but it's getting there. Still need to do that side wall. Need to do the front wall. I think I'm gonna have the front wall come down almost like a like a door, so that way we could clean it. And then the top is just gonna be a mesh hardware cloth top, but I'm, I'm still filming. I'm gonna be doing videos on it and just showing you this process of building these brooders for our 75 meat chickens that are coming. Things do take twice as long we have animals but this is uh, this is also the least uh, amount of chores that we have right now probably the least amount that we're gonna have all year you know because once some chickens come then it's on it's on we just moved these three feeder pigs to a new area the pigs are helping us work the soil in this area Every time we move pigs, I make it a point to bring my camera along, just in case there's any kind of drama. Pig drama. Okay, I gotta swing them around. Those trees are gonna be in my way. So you gotta go straight then? Yeah. Okay. Hey, pigs. Come on, get in there. Let me take off this wire. <laughs> kind of <coughs> gotta be in a hurry because <laughs> they're gonna run out of food. And I mean, technically they could bust through that chicken coop. No problem. The wheel down. Chargers on, fence is on. All right, guys. No pig drama. No. Not on my watch. <laughs> I just jinxed myself. Hey, pigs. So I recently switched up their feed. Typically we buy New Country Organics, but man, it's so expensive, right? So I was like, oh, maybe I should, we should scale back on that and just do the no GMO stuff. But I've noticed, I've done this before. I've done this before where I'd like, ah, it's too expensive. Let's, let's just scale back. So we're getting this other pelleted feed. I try soaking it, but it doesn't really help. It's just weird. And I'm not sponsored by a new country organics or anything, but in my opinion, it's I think it's the best feed you could get. Hey, pigs. Excuse me. Excuse me. The pigs don't eat it as fast as the new country stuff. Maybe because it's new feed, I don't know. I mean, yeah, eventually I guess they'll eat it, but there's feed here. See these crumbles? You probably can't see it. It looks like dirt but there's still feed on the ground that they don't eat. And if I wet it for him, they really won't eat it. They'll look at it and they'll think like, what is that? 
I already fed you. I think the new country stuff just looks better. I like the way it looks. I like the way it smells. Maybe I'm just spoiling them. I don't know, but in my opinion, they know better feed the new country. At the same time though, it's also the most expensive. Because this is the most flat part of the property here, pigs, we're running pigs on it. Uh, I'm thinking this right here, let's put you guys down. This right here is where we're gonna be the, the opening of our high tunnel. We'll probably end up taking that tree down and some of the trees that are, that are up here so that we can make room. And I'm thinking two high tunnels, but there's also roots that we need to rip out, like tree stumps. Because if we're going to be tilling or growing food in these high tunnels, I don't want to run into a tree stump. Well, eventually those pigs are going to be gone. And that reminds me, guys, if you guys want to be notified through email of when uh, our chicken processing and it looks like we're going to probably doing a pig processing workshop here on our homestead. If you want to be notified by email, I'll leave that link down below so you could just sign up because I'll, I'll mention it in a video also. But, you know, sometimes you guys don't watch these videos. You know, sometimes they slip through, you don't catch it. Um, so yeah, if you wanna be notified through email, leave that link down below. And that's gonna be coming up quick. We got leftovers too here, guys. Excuse me, excuse me. If you were to have pigs choose between pig food or actual human food, they would pick this any day. <laughs> Come on. No, nope, that's it. It's right there. Now it's dinner. What is this soup? We've got soup. And chips? And chips and guacamole. Um, this is a loaded potato soup with sausage and it's very delicious. 